Today, we're going to talk about new construction. Do you need a real estate agent? Building a brand new house from the ground up. You know, the construction company says you just use our internal agent. Uh, what are the protocols? What can you expect? And do you need one when you build a new house here in Texas? I'm Zach Walker, your Texas local lender. Today on the channel, we're going to be talking about new construction and real estate agents. How do those two things tie together? What can you expect? And should you bring your own agent to the party? The answer to that question is a pretty simple yes, right? So let's get started with that. Absolutely, you want to bring your own real estate agent to new construction. But the real question is why? Well, that's a great question. To get into that, we're going to have to address a couple of things. First of all, let's get started with the fact that most new home construction sales folks are not actually real estate agents. The way it works in Texas is you're covered by the real estate license of the company building the homes. So let me ask you this question. If you were buying a car from a Toyota salesman, right? Would you believe that you would get the same level of expertise and understanding about say a Honda? Well, they're competitors, they're different makes, they're different models, they're created in different factories and with different materials, engine sizes, so on and so forth. The same is to be said about houses. Not all houses are created equal. Not all building materials are created equal. Not all pricing models are created equal. And your new home construction consultant is on staff with the people building your home. Now, I'm not saying they set out to lie to you or, or to make you not understand the process, but certainly having your own agent representing you. They're legally bound and fiduciarily responsible for you and your well-being. They take agency over you, their client. Thus, they are legally required to protect your best interest at all times. What could possibly go wrong? It's a great question. I've seen lots of different things. I've seen contracts expire and builders not give extensions and sell the house to the highest bidder. I've seen poor construction and, and bad material selection. I've seen options that were chosen that didn't happen. And your agent is going to be your professional arm to go in and fight that fight for you um, and, and, and make sure that you get what you're paying for and what's best for you. When it comes to the commission of it all, you're going to be paying commissions either way. Why would you not bring your own boxer to the fight rather than just picking somebody uh, out of the crowd? It also is going to allow you to focus on the other things like designing your home and making the selections and the choices and, and, and allowing your real estate agent to be the one that goes in and does all the contract talk and the negotiations and so on and so forth. And this just gives you a buffer between you and the builder to make sure that your wishes and, and, and demands are met in a timely manner and in a way that appeases and pleases you, the client. Now, I want to, I want to be very clear about one thing. The builder representative or the builder's agent is absolutely going to be a resource for you because they are intimately familiar with the builder's processes and, and behaviors and materials and selections. And so as you walk through the process, they are going to be invaluable to your process, but your real estate agent is going to act as a buffer between you and the builder's agent to make sure that your interests are the first and foremost. Let's talk about the cost of it, right? So a builder's agent is going to be intensely knowledgeable about that builder, their pricing, materials, so on and so forth. But your professional real estate agent is going to be an expert in all things real estate. So they're going to be able to understand cost and trends and comps and, and values and, and really make sure that you're not paying an inaccurate price for comparable new construction just because you're building with Joe Bob Builder versus Bob, you know, Bob's Builders. And so that's another valuable resource that a buyer's agent is going to help with in the new construction process. 
In terms of the contract, your buyer's agent is going to help you with that fine, fine print because builder's contracts are not like your typical contracts. They're going to be much longer. They're going to be much more in-depth. They're going to have many more clauses and different things that are going to be very challenging to just a normal consumer. They're challenging to me, and I was in real estate for years. So your buyer's agent is going to be your magnifying glass to really dive into those clauses and those amendments and make sure that each and everything that's in that contract is understood by you, the buyer, and they're going to make sure that you're an educated consumer throughout the process. The other side is the timelines, right? A lot of times right now, we're seeing builders take 16 months to build a house, and you've got delay after delay after delay with maybe no end in sight. And that's a frustrating process for you as you found temporary housing, or you're waiting to sell your home while they're building your new home, or fill in the blank. Your real estate agent is going to be able to help you negotiate that, make sure that any time-related clauses in the contract are satisfied and performed upon, and really be able to hold the builder to a higher standard simply by knowledge of the law and knowledge of the rules and knowledge of the contract. Another invaluable reason to make sure you have an agent on new construction. Another important piece of having a buyer's agent in a new construction build is your recourse, should there be a dispute of any kind. Having an agent on your side will benefit you a hundred times over, should there, hopefully not, but should there be any recourse necessary over the course of a dispute or, or the contract, right? So let's say your builder doesn't perform on the contract or they put the wrong flooring in, or they make some kind of mistake that you need to fight, be it in court or be it through the builder's warranty or whatever that is. Your real estate agent is going to be your best course of action for enforcing those rules prior to having to engage an attorney should that be the case. Now, we don't hear a lot of cases of that. Thankfully, most builders are willing to hammer out some kind of conclusion, even if a mistake has been made, but it's oftentimes not very easy. If you've ever had a new construction and you've tried to deal with a builder's warranty, you can find it to be a very frustrating and very time-consuming process because not all builders uh, are willing to jump in there and say, yeah, you know what? We screwed that up. It's been eight months. Let us fix that. Why? Well, because they're building houses faster than you can bake bread. And it's it doesn't make money for them to go back and fix a mistake, but it does make money for them to build a new house. And so once you get your house built, you take your keys, you move in. Now you become a back burner and your agent is still going to be able to help you through that process, even after the sale is completed by saying, hey, hey, we, we've got a problem. We can't get our builder on the hook. Well, your real estate agent can get them on the hook. That's a promise. The last and most important thing your real estate agent is going to do, and if I've said it once, I've said it a hundred thousand times, a real estate agent's job is not to sell you anything, but rather to manage your expectations. They're going to help you separate the reality from what I call the model home fantasy. Everyone knows that the model homes are built to the highest spec available with every option in the book. And so oftentimes when you walk into a neighborhood sales center and it says from the low 300s and up, what that really means is four walls and a door is in the low 300s. If you want carpet and sheetrock and all those other things, it's going to end up closer to four, four and a half, five, five and a half. In our neighborhood specifically, I bought my house for 377 and they're opening up a new street of houses that start at 850. So there's a wide variety of pricing and options and, and models available. And your real estate agent is really going to be able to have those intimate conversations with you because they represent you and not the builder to where they can have that they can have that hard conversation and say listen you're probably not going to get the quartz and the upgraded appliance package and the hand scraped hardwoods and the wrought iron stair rails and the golden toilets for the cheapest price available and, and, and while we as consumers we know these things it's oftentimes very easy to get in the process, start down the path, let your eyes get bigger than your stomach, if you will. Uh, I'm a big guy, I use eating analogies all the time. And before you know it, you got a plate full of food you can't afford, right? And so that's a great part of having an agent through the process. They're gonna be able to manage your expectations and make sure that reality and your hopes and dreams line up perfectly. Again, it's important to think through these things when you're starting to look at new construction houses. Right now, the market and the inventory is lower than it's ever been. And so new construction is more popular than ever. As you walk through that process, 
make sure that you consider using a professional real estate agent in addition to the builder's agent because they represent two very different people. The real estate agent represents you, the builder's agent represents the builder. You want to make sure your interests are protected. I'm Zach Walker, your Texas local lender. Make sure you smash that like and subscribe button and we will talk to you very soon. Have a great day.